Could you be suffering from irritable bowel syndrome? If so, in this video, we will review the most common symptoms of IBS and how patients with IBS are diagnosed. Welcome to JHP Medical, I'm Dr. Hart Pinto and I'll be reviewing the most common symptoms of IBS and how patients with IBS are diagnosed. If you like this video, remember to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our latest videos. So what is IBS? IBS is a condition that affects your digestive system, predominantly your bowels. The condition lasts lifelong, with patients experiencing stomach cramps, abdominal bloating and episodes of diarrhoea and constipation. IBS can have a significant impact on your quality of life, with some patients finding it very challenging to live with. So who gets irritable bowel syndrome? IBS is very common. It affects around one in five people, and the exact reason why people suffer from the condition is not fully understood. However, you are at increased risk of developing the condition if you are female or have a relative who already suffers from irritable bowel syndrome. So what causes IBS? Again, the cause of IBS is not fully understood. When researchers have examined the bowels of IBS patients, no structural abnormality can be seen. IBS is believed to be a multifactorial condition where overactivity within the gastrointestinal system results in cramps experienced by patients. This altered activity within the bowel can subsequently lead to episodes of diarrhea or constipation. Flares of IBS symptoms can happen without warning or any obvious cause. However, for many individuals, their symptoms can be associated one of several triggers. Patients exposed to high levels of stress or anxiety have increased activity of the nervous supply to the gut. This increases overactivity within the bowel, which worsens symptoms. Some patients report increased sensitivity to spicy or fatty foods, or even alcoholic or caffeinated drinks may also be a factor for some. So what are the common symptoms of IBS? Every patient's experience of IBS is different, not only in the precipitating cause, but also with the symptoms that they experience. The top four reported symptoms of IBS are abdominal pain or cramping, this is usually worse after eating, and patients experience relief after going for a poo. Abdominal bloating. This can leave you with the sensation of being full or swollen in the tummy. A change in your bowel habit. This can either be diarrhea, where you may experience a sudden urge to go for a poo, and this may be of a watery consistency. Or constipation. So if you're suffering from constipation, you may find that you're having to strain to go for a poo. Your experience of each of these symptoms can vary on a day-to-day -day basis. During flares of your IBS, your symptoms will be much worse. Now we've talked about the most common symptoms of IBS. Are there any others? Truly, your IBS is your IBS. So the symptoms that you experience may not reflect those of other patients. Some patients report an increase in passing gas, known as flatulence or belching. For some, this may be difficult to control and, of course, can lead to some embarrassing moments. Discharge from your back passage is also a possibility. This is usually described as a mucus-like consistency. You may find that you're having to go for a wee more frequently and sometimes with very little notice. You may also experience the sensation of being unable to fully empty your bladder. You may experience a reduction in your appetite, find that you feel full very quickly after eating, in addition, some patients find that they experience episodes of nausea or even heartburn during IBS flares. The symptoms of your IBS may not be localised to your gastrointestinal system. You may experience lethargy, headaches and even muscle pain during flares of your IBS. So what are the worrying features? Whilst IBS is not life-threatening, some of the symptoms can cross over with other serious conditions including cancers. Therefore, it's very important you are reviewed by your doctor who will be able to ensure that there isn't anything more sinister causing the symptoms that you're experiencing. Don't forget, self-diagnosis can be dangerous. If you're experiencing any of the following symptoms, they are not related to IBS and you should seek urgent review from your doctor. The passing of blood with your stool or when wiping your bottom, the development of a mass or swelling in your tummy, or any unexplained weight loss. So how will my doctor diagnose my IBS? 
there's no particular test that can be done to diagnose IBS. The condition is diagnosed by your doctor on reviewing the symptoms you are experiencing and following a thorough examination. However, a high degree of suspicion of IBS will be given for any patients presenting with six or more months of abdominal pain, bloating or a change in your bowel habit. Your doctor, of course, will be keen to rule out more sinister conditions which can overlap with the symptoms of IBS. In order to do this, your doctor might order some blood tests and order a stool sample. These investigations can help rule out other conditions such as celiac disease, a condition where your immune system attacks your own tissues when you eat gluten, inflammatory bowel diseases such as Crohn's or ulcerative colitis, ovarian cancers in women, or even infections of the gastrointestinal system. Less frequently, your doctor may request a camera test to examine your gut at both the top and the bottom. These tests are called gastroscopies or colonoscopies. This allows for direct examination of the lining of your gut and biopsies can be taken to help with diagnosing other conditions such as cancers. I hope you've enjoyed this video. We've looked at the common symptoms of IBS and how your doctor can diagnose you with this condition. If you're experiencing any of the symptoms above, please make an appointment with your local doctor to confirm whether you are suffering from irritable bowel syndrome. In our next video, we'll be looking at the management of patients with IBS, including lifestyle factors, dietary modifications, and medications that can help ease your symptoms. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this information useful. If you've enjoyed this video, why not subscribe, click the bell, or write down below. Of course, this video does not provide individual medical advice and is intended for information purposes only. Do not consider this as a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Please don't ignore professional medical advice in seeking treatment because of something you've heard here. If you believe you may have a medical emergency, please immediately call your doctor or ambulance service. See you in the next video. Goodbye. Thank you.